primates descended from ancestors that lived in trees of tropical forests with characteristics that would represent adaptations to life in an ever-challenging environment. According to fossil evidence, the earliest known true primates date back as much as 55 to 58 million years and these primates have been divided into several groups with human beings standing out as the most dominant. To learn more about primates in Uganda and also have a look at a variety of them in the wild, there's only one place to visit, and the place is Chibale Forest National Park, which is now popular for its population of habituated chimpanzees and 12 other primate species, which include the red colobus monkey and the black and white colobus monkey. To try and catch a glimpse of these primates in the wild, we embark on an excursion into Chibale Forest National Park. Our primary focus, on the other hand, are the habituated chimpanzees that can now relate with the many tourists who often visit the forest. The excursion into Chibale Forest National Park is quite an adventure that not only keeps the adrenaline pumping, but one that also presents a challenging terrain with many obstacles to encounter and a natural habitat to give one a good feel. As we continue our journey, the rangers from Uganda Wildlife Authority who lead the way endeavor to educate us on the natural surroundings. In English, it's regarded as the testicle tree fruit or the ball fruit. And it is known locally to be medicinal in nature. It exudes white yeah, wax. You, you advise to uh, administer from the sides of the cut. It disinfects the wound immediately. Chibale Forest National Park is also a natural rainforest, which means it can rain at any given time. We experience that faster and quickly dress up to evade the rains. After at least an hour of tracking, we finally see our first chimpanzee atop a tree. The chimp is a sub-adult and has not yet fully matured. Chimpanzees are the closest species to human beings and draw a striking resemblance to humans, not only in looks but also in mannerisms, making them our closest living relatives. Uh, chimpanzees are our flagship species, and the chimpanzees are the closest uh, relative to humans, and we share 98.7% of the genetic material with the chimps. And so because of that, the chimp behavior mirrors the one of human beings. The chimps are very intelligent animals. The chimps can use tools. They can construct nests where they sleep in. And they live in communities. Another chimp that we encounter is an adult that has already been habituated. We finally learn that his name is Tabu. He's one of the good hunters. Mm. When it comes to the chimps hunting the, the monkeys, preferably the red colobus monkey, uh, black and white colobus, then uh, they hunt baboons for the babies. The target is always to grab the babies, uh, then they eat meat. Uh, Tabu is estimated to be between 38 to 40 years, mm -hmm. and the name Tabu means problem. Well, the heavy downpour here hasn't stopped us from continuing with our chimpanzee trekking. And right now, we are meeting the alpha male, the king of the chimpanzees here in Chiwale National Park. We have been told that his name is Enfuzi, which literally means an orphan. The whole community around this area has around 120 chimpanzees, and to see some of them in this thick forest is sometimes very hard and can take several hours of trekking. According to the Uganda Wildlife Authority, a lot of effort has been put in this place to make it possible for both local and foreign tourists to see these chimpanzees. First of all, uh, being a forested area, you have to make sure that there is a lot of trail network to allow access to the tourism products, especially chimps and other primates. So we have a lot of trails in the forest and bridges. Two, we have trained our staff without professional guides you can't make it happen. So it is the level of the guides that market this country and make the product very exciting. And for some of those who have participated in chimp tracking, the excitement cannot be held back. It was a great experience. These guys actually look like us. They relax in the trees like we do at the beaches, at home. 
they have food, they live in families, which was a great experience to know, I didn't know that. And the other thing is, I liked how they coordinate, they keep making funny noises to communicate to themselves. My take on chimp trekking in Chiwale National Park is that it's not only a perilous journey, but it's one that is a worthwhile experience and also breathtaking. Seeing the primates up close and personal also gives you a different view of how Mother Nature has quickly evolved, making this place one of the best places in Africa where one can come to see different kinds of monkeys. Suhail Mugavi, NTV Green.